What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you this message. One of those messages being that abundance is your motherfucking birthright, okay? And if that's your first time hearing it and this is where you click off, then at least I got to deliver you that message, okay? Because my calling in life is to remind people of their power, all right? If this is your first time to the channel, just so you know, the way I interact with everyone on the channel is through, well, if you like the video, it lets me know it resonated. Um, if you comment, just know that I do pray over my comment section. And if you would like to subscribe, that's up to you. Okay. But the reality is, is that these messages are going to get to you regardless. And I want you to know that. And I, again, I'm trying to remind you of your power because more than likely you've received these messages in other forms, but just stubborn ass didn't want to hear it. Okay. Um, so I just want to put that out there. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. As soon as that happens, um, I fully intend to go ahead and pull a lucky subscriber from the list um, for a free personal reading. Okay, it's a very detailed reading. It's usually upwards of like an hour, hour and a half. Um, and we're already almost there. Today is the full moon. Um, today is Tuesday, September 17th. I personally do not read or perform. I don't perform or practice for others on the full moon or the new moon. Um, but this is for the collective. This is how I honor my, my Pisces collective. And it was, it was put on my heart this evening. It was put on my heart this evening to just go ahead and do it for the Pisces collective. Um, <clears throat> so that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Let's go ahead and pray for the message. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides. Holy Spirit, this is for the Pisces Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? To whom I am a part of, but this reading I am not. Please remove my energy out of this as usual, Holy Spirit, okay? Now, I did shuffle pretty hard before I got on here. So let me go ahead and just look for reversals. I do read reversals. I just prefer for them to come out based off of intention rather than probability, okay? And I do see one here. I hope you're doing so well. I'm feeling so blessed and so honored and so excited to read for y'all. Um, I, I really am. And for those of you who are waiting on a personal reading, please go ahead and check your emails. You might have already received it. Um, unless you are in within that three that three business day time frame. I do not read on the weekends. I do not. I would no. <laughs> no. This is all voluntary, y'all. I don't I don't have to do none of this. Hence why I don't monetize, because I'm like, no, nah, I don't even need that. Like this is for this is for my Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You feel? All right, I'm not seeing too many. Uh, I'm not seeing any other reversals. Let's see what message needs to come out under this eclipsing full moon. Okay, um, very powerful time. I uh, I'm gonna say something. I don't really because I don't like to talk about other spiritualists. We only fix other people's crafts on this channel. Um, you know, and I only recommend that you fuck with people who do the same, but I will say no fear mongering on the eclipsing full moon. Okay. Don't be scared of your power or the power around you to tap into. Um, if, if a spiritualist is saying this, they're, they're honestly, that's, that's kind of fear mongering. And I, I don't like it because the eclipsing full moons definitely get a bad rep, um, for sure. And you can, and it's usually the people that don't know how to harness that power, that are most in fear of it. And I just kind of want to put that out there. So let's see what's coming out for you, okay? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What is coming out? What does Pisces need to hear? Six of Swords. We've got the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups, the Four of Wands, the World card, and then crossing this energy is the Six of Wands, y'all. There's someone's been self-reflecting. Someone has been reflecting on some shit, okay? Because with these two sixes that came out immediately, I'm like, someone has been self-reflecting and realizing that there's something better out there for themselves, okay? They want to rejoice. They want stability. They want alignment. They want, um, they want something that they've seen and it's either out in the world and it's attainable to them or they still dream or reminisce about this. Good times, time spent together, things like that. This person wants to come towards this and they want to, they really want to be together. They really want to either 
just con simply connect or reconcile because I don't know who this is yet. Okay, so again, we do have the Six of Swords. We've got the Three of Cups. And then we've got the Four of Wands. After the Four of Wands is, in fact, the World card. Okay, I didn't mean to flash you with the card there, with the World card. But the this is definitely someone... <sighs> Someone just came out of some shit. Someone just had a really bad time in life and it has nothing to do with you. And as they're coming out of that, they must have either remembered you or seen a picture of you or saw you out in public. And they're saying, holy shit, I think I'm aligned with Pisces. I think I should go for Pisces. Like, how did I not see this before? Or was the opportunity not there? So this could be someone that previously like was either moved or was far away. Like there was distance there um, or they were in a relationship. Do you understand? Like something where now they're in their own world. They're coming out of something and coincidentally, Pisces, you're available. And this person is seeing you almost like for the first time. Like they've never seen you before. And so this could be an old friend, old an old, uh, like a friend, a coworker, you know what I'm saying? Something. There's someone that they've seen a picture of you. This also it could be online dating. There's someone that decided, you know what? I'm going to try online dating. And they, boom, they came across your profile and your picture. And they're just like, holy shit. Is this possible? This is like a dream person. You know? So it's that kind of vibe. And it's really great alignment. The, the reality is, is that this person is aligned. They just came out of some shit in their own life. But like really came out of it. They're done with it. You know, like it, whether if it's a block, they have already, it's done being removed. They're not still in the process of working on that block. If it's a, a marriage, for example, let's say they've been, you know, separated and going through the whole divorce process for a few years now. They're finally like, ah, oh, the papers are signed. I feel like they can actually really invite something else into my life now or focus on other things other than this. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're really coming out of something. Pisces, this could also be you. And maybe you have seen someone or realized the potential in a love connection. And you're like, huh, curiouser and curiouser. Okay, now I did show you the cards. Crossing this energy is the six of wands. Six of wands. Someone is trying to come in. Forward movement. Okay, with the six of, this is forward movement. Okay, forward movement. This is forward movement. All right, and it's all deriving from a time of, of self-reflection, a time of self-reflection and great personal achievements. Personal achievements, you know, this person even could have been caught up in, I don't know, like a, something that takes a really long time, like law school or, 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 or medical school, you know what I'm saying? And now they're kind of looking up. Finally, the smoke is cleared and they're looking up. The smoke is cleared in their life, right? They're done with school or they finally met a goal. And now that they've met that goal or accomplishment or whatever it is, right? They're like, huh, damn. Spice has been here this whole time. Like, that's how this person is looking. Like, like now that their focus can expand past their immediate life, they are really feeling you. And this could even be you, Pisces, opposite. And you're trying to get figure out if this is a good time for you to go ahead and go after this person that you're starting to see in a different light. Okay, um, I am going to, am I going to turn on my fan? No, I don't think I need it. Not yet. All right. So again, this is about alignment, these good times. And with the sixes, that's really speaking to me. I just want to show you something with this four of wands. Though. This is 11, 11. Look at the two wands and the two wands. Like 11, 11. Like a wish. This person might have wished for you or you might have wished for someone. Pisces, you might have wished for someone and said, man, I really want a partner. I really want... You know, and you wrote down what you wanted or do you get what I'm saying? You've been praying for the opportunity at love. It's happening. It's happening. Someone's coming in. Someone's about to find you, find you, contact you, introduce themselves. Or maybe again, if it's someone that's already in your world, they're going to now make it known that they have a romantic intention towards you. They're going to go ahead and, and, and make that bold move or you are being asked to. Okay, I, you know, we did have a reading recently about a crush. So maybe there's some messages for you there if you need to look in that. And if you need a personal reading, my email is in the bio and in the description. Feel free to contact me. 
But it, but like I said, these messages belong to you. So whoever you go to, whichever tarot reader you feel led to, um, and and really invest in yourself and discover what it is um, that you need to do to align your align yourself with this. If you feel like you're not aligned with this kind of wish fulfillment, because this is again a Pisces that has wished upon a star and said, "I just want my person," and the world has said, "You know what?" Let me send you this person. Let me send you this person. They are in the perfect position to receive and you are in the per perfect position to receive. You know what I mean? So let's get more information on who this person is. I would love to know who is this person. Holy Spirit, if you could please just go ahead and speak through these cards and let us know who this person is. Give us uh, information on maybe their zodiac. Damn, that threw, that was, fl that flew at the damn, um, 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 what you call it? The, the camera here. That's crazy. This is the, this is the hangman. This is the hangman. This person could be a Pisces or they have a Pisces characteristic in them. Here's the queen of cups. This is confirming that this is not characteristic, um, placement. This is confirming that there's a strong water energy about this person. But either they're just very sensitive and very in tune with themselves, or they do in fact have a uh, Pisces or a water sign um, in their chart. For sure, Pisces. I mean, that's crazy. That's a huge confirmation. They are pretty well off. They're financially stable. They certainly can hold their own financially. Like this person is very well to do. And I'll be honest with you, this person is looking to live together and to solidify things. This person, whoever this person is, wants to come in. When they when they meet you or make themselves known, or you make them yourself known to this person, it's gonna it's things are just gonna take off. I, I this it's too obvious here. They you both want a, you both are gonna want a a um a cycle together because here's the ten of coins, and tens in tarot are about cycles so are um so are so are eights eights are about cycles as well they are more divine more karmic than divine but yeah this is a divine cycle that someone would like to offer you i mean this is pretty awesome what they want to live together they want to have stability they want alignment with you when this person comes in this is great and again if this is you wanting this person pisces and you're one, you know, not only are you getting confirmation, but you're getting even double confirmation that this union, the insight on it is that it is going to be, well, it's going to go swimmingly. Okay. It's going to go swimmingly. Pun intended, bitch. All right. Let's get one more card on who they are. King of Cups. Listen, we got Queen of Cups and King of Cups that came out. That means this person is in fact a pair to you. This person is a pair to you. Uh, I'm seeing something here though about with this Seven of Swords coming out with this king of cups there's something uh, maybe the way they're gonna come towards you for you you're gonna be like that's a little bit too strong so strong in fact that maybe i don't think you're really serious about something long term with me um because pisces you're so used to people love bombing you sorry i need to take off my my hoodie it's kind of warm i realized i don't need to turn on the ac in here i just need to take off a fucking hoodie all right, honestly, put my hair up in a bun. Oh, I've got really long, thick, curly hair. <clears throat> All right, so I'll show you the cards now. We've got the, the um, this is the one that got thrown at the freaking thing. So this means that you might know who this is or you've been sensing recently that someone is coming in. Someone's coming your way like a new love or something new, like you know what I'm saying, something unexpected is coming in love. Some of you have really been feeling that and sensing it and this is confirming for you, okay? Um, here's the thing, you're a little bit in a reserved energy I'm seeing here, which isn't entirely bad, but this is someone you're gonna wanna be open to. And then we have the 10 of, of coins, like I said. Your fourth card came out as these two cards, which is the King of Cups, and the seven of swords and there's something about this person's approach with you or communication style that for you 
maybe you're it's going to catch you off guard and you're going to think this person doesn't really have a true offer for you that they're a false person or that they're presenting themselves in a way to just simply get to you hence seeing this this queen of cups energy and this king of cups because again this person is either a pisces or or a water sign but nonetheless they do match you the only difference is that look at the queen of cups let me just put these cards down so i can talk to you about this Look at the Queen of Cups. Let me put it next to, okay? Queen of Cups. Lid is on. She has her hand on the lid. She's like, I don't know. King of Cups. Lid's wide open. They're grounded. Different approaches in vulnerability. Different approaches, even possibly in communication styles and attachment styles. Please do not let someone's different qualities and quirks and and traits to tour you oh they're not like me then i don't know about it the fuck get off my channel if that's you because that's weird like you are meant to have someone diverse someone that balances you out pisces and i can see here that for some of you it could either be the reverse okay but this per you are reserved and keeping your lid on the cup and this person is open or vice versa where you're wide open and this person is feeling like a slower approach we already talked about earlier how this could be the roles can be reversed and and in what way okay this seven of swords energy that came out with the king of cups is is again confirming that there's some sort of so this looks sneaky this looks like you know what i mean you don't know. It's almost like as if you're going to, you are going to question. Yep. Because <clears throat> this person is going to come in and be so about you and so sure, so fucking certain about you that you're going to be like, yeah, I've heard it before. I've heard it before. Everyone's always certain about me. I'm a Pisces. Are you fucking kidding me? Everyone wants me. What else is new? What makes you different? Like, I'm telling you, you aren't going to doubt it. Um, and it, And it's, I don't... Be careful that it's not coming from a bitter place. Because if it is, then God be with you on your karmic path. Um, but if it's you practicing skepticism, that's okay. This person is going to be okay with that. And that makes sense. And that is healthy to practice self-preservation. To practice a reasonable level of skepticism so long as it makes sense and aligns with an outcome that you would desire. Do you understand? Because if you want to be with this person, you can't be a fucking asshole. When they tell you that they're obsessed with you and they love you and they want to be with you, and the, you can't just shut them down. Really take the time to evaluate. Really assess the situation. Don't just immediately cut this person out and be like, nah, I've heard this before. Don't do that. Because then, then if you do that, start questioning what it is you really want then. What the fuck are you asking the universe? Because there's a, 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 just a quick time out. Some of y'all are asking for, you want love in your life, but you don't even leave the fucking house. But yet you get upset about all these messages that are possibly for you about a past person. What do you think is going to happen? And it's the same thing in this situation. You're asking for this person that is excited about you, desires you, wants you. And then the universe sends you someone like that. But you're like, I don't know. I've, I've dealt with this before. People have love bombed me before. Well, thanks for letting the universe know that you don't fucking trust the universe. And that, they, and that the universe can take their cup and shove it up its ass. That's literally what you're doing. Y'all need to be walking in gratitude. Y'all need to be walking in gratitude. I'm going to save you from yourself if I have to. And this is di directly connected to this message. You need to walk in gratitude. You cannot manifest anything when you do not walk in gratitude and an appreciation. When you are focused on what you lack, what you don't have, how long it's taking, all of that, not only do you not manifest what you say you want, but you manifest what you're giving energy to. And in this aspect, what you're manifesting then, because you're giving energy to it, is less. I don't have enough. Scarce mentality. How come love hasn't come to me? Scarce mentality. Unappreciative. Ungrateful. 
Did you not ever think that maybe you're not perfect, Pisces, and that you do need a waiting period for it to find your soulmate? Because the universe wants to give you a soulmate, but you're just not ready and you have literally nothing to offer yet. I'm not going to sit here and I'm sorry, I don't do gentle parenting. I'm not going to sit here and be like, all of you have something to offer you. I'll get gold stars. No, some of y'all got some dark ass shit going on and you have no business trying to contact nobody, trying to start something new. You know who you are. So again, this person, I need you to not self-sabotage this and be like, well, they're love bombing me. I don't know. Other people have done that. Take the time to assess. Well, I take the time to assess, but I still don't know. Then you have a block and you should not be dating. Hello, goodbye. You can click off if you want. But you're going to find the same situation time and time again with that sort of lack mentality. Crossing this energy, confirming that this person is going to have such a big offer for you, but you better not doubt it, is this. The king of coins. This is someone who has a huge offer for you that's matching this energy. Let me tell you something. This person is not only aligned with your greater self, your greater purpose, and the love that you deserve, but they match your energy. I'm seeing here, Pisces, that there might be a situation where you question the love that this person is trying to give to you because you have been hurt. You have not healed. You have an emotional block. Being cold and distant is not someone anyone wants to fuck or love or commit to, period. If you're super like pushing them away and I don't know, and that's no, no one's interested in that. And guess what? They're going to move on and meet their dream person. Absolutely. And they deserve it. They deserve it. Pisces, anyone that comes into your life trying to treat you good and you swat away their cup of love, they are going to go and get better and you didn't deserve them. And I'm glad that you let them go and cut them out. If you don't like it, click off. <clears throat> but that's all right. I mean, like I said, remember I tell you, these messages are exclusive to y'all. They're exclusive to y'all. So you're going to get this message, whether it's through tarot or because you end up in another karmic relationship. Because this person that's coming in that is seeing you for the first time is not karmic. They're just not. And I already know there's going to be just one fucking idiot that is going to comment, I don't want my past person, and I haven't said shit about it. <laughs> that, again, these kinds of things that I see, I'm like, you guys have some really deep-rooted blocks. Like, you think that it's the other person, when really it's you, okay? This person wants to give you their cup of love. It's They're literally a knight in shining armor, dressed to the nine, dressed to the nine, in Pisces gear, they are obsessed with you, okay? They're going to be. They want to give you, they don't just want to give you this cup. This person is so about you. They honor you. Let me show you how I know they honor you because they're taking this cup to the source. They see you as the source. They want to honor you. They respect you. They would love nothing more than the chance to celebrate you and worship you. When I tell you this person's the real deal, but some of y'all ain't ready for them. Some of y'all ain't ready for them. I'm telling you that that that's that message that came out about walking in a spirit of appreciation is the probably one of the realest things that I could give to some of y'all that are so lost. Because focusing on why is it taking so long? I'm alone. I need someone. I need a companion. I get it. It sucks. You're lonely. You're depressed. You desire company. You desire comfort. You need, 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 need. So then give, 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 give to your fucking self. What are you doing? Some of y'all are listening to these messages because you want someone to save you from, from something that you can't be saved from yourself. So if you already feel like you don't have enough in life, someone is not going to come in and make you feel like everything is suddenly brand new. I'm sorry, it's not going to happen. That's called codependency. Messages came out strong here. A lot that wants to be said. That was too many cards. Let me get three more. Ooh! Let me get three more cards. Three more cards here. Focus your energy. This person, this person. Four of swords. Yes. Mm -mm. 
Y'all got to put some shit to rest. Y'all got some really outdated mentalities, some really childish shit going on. Some of y'all are like, I am a bad bitch or I am a king and can't nobody have me. And You're right. Can't nobody have you. Please keep it moving. Everyone else out here is trying to fall in love. We ain't trying to deal with that shit. No one. I can't express to you how that kind of attitude, that kind of approach in love just comes off as harsh, hard, defensive, disgusting, unfuckable, unlovable, uh, work, so much work. Like, no, no one wants that. Sorry. Either you're available or you're not. Okay, so yeah, this person wants to give their cup of love to you. This is confirmation to you. After this is the Four of Swords saying that you have some shit that you need to handle, Pisces. You need to put this away. You need to put away, lay to rest, whatever it is going on with you, because it's fucking with your alignment. You are supposed to be in a much higher vibration than you are right now, especially when it comes to love. So I'm going to need you to step up when it comes to that. Because some of you guys, listen, you're so obsessed with who's coming in with their cup of love and you have yet to evaluate if you even, if your cup is even full. Some of y'all, your cup is not full at all. Yeah, I healed. I went through things. You know what? You might have healed, but you should have not released and you sure as, as hell have not grown. Hello. Some accountability is needed here, y'all. Some accountability is needed here. Listen, after this, this Four of Swords, this is confirming what I'm seeing with some of you Pisces, that you're in this Nine of Coins energy, which is beautiful. You're, you know, abundant, well-to-do. You really are, have hit your stride. You're feeling confident. You really don't feel like you need anyone. Some of you need to evaluate, are you ready for someone then? Because you talk about, I don't need no one. I don't need no one. I'm happy with myself. But then you're sobbing at night about how you want someone. Oh, but then when people come into your life, you want to act off like I'm flicking my nose right now because it's a thing. It's you're just snobby as fuck. Oh, I'm just selective. No, you're a snobby ass fucking bitch. Because this person is ready to give to to some to this to you, and some of y'all are taking this to like your ego is just out of this world. And and again, someone like this doesn't have anything to offer. And then, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just because, note that she's by herself. Note that she's by herself. Note that she has all these coins in her garden, but nothing in her hands. Nothing to give. She even has to send away for stuff. Do you understand? I would be careful with this. And then after this is the, the, um... Magician card and it came reverse. For some of you, because if you noticed here, this message was very direct for those who have healed and for those who have not. Because there is some new love coming in. You are being thrown an opportunity here at new love. And so for some of you, this shit, like this energy that I told you about that you need to stay away from is going to result in you missing an opportunity. And please don't think, oh, well, if it's meant for me, it can't miss me. Yes, it can. You can absolutely destroy and ruin at, and prolong at best what is meant for you. I've seen people do it through addiction, alcoholism, stubbornness, narcissism, laziness, fear. I've seen it all. Destroy families, client relations, all kinds of shit. You've seen a celebrities even do it. So yes, you absolutely can royally fuck yourself in what is meant for you in life as well as prolong it yes you can and i'm seeing here for some of you you're gonna learn your lesson this time around some of you are gonna learn your lesson this time around how to eat. hey stay humble you ain't gotta get humble crossing this energy is the hermit card and then i'm gonna close this message out this is about introspection this is about self listen you need to self-reflect OK, you need to reflect and reassess on what you want, because this person here is showing they're aligned. They're focused on a goal. They're focused on something they want and they're not consumed or concerned with their surroundings. They're not looking at their feet. They're looking at the lantern. So this is tell this is definitely a message. This is a double advice message for y'all, for some of you that have healed and all that stuff. Again, stay focused on this. Like, you you good. It's coming. It's coming. You got new love. Someone wants you. Someone has seen you and they're like, that's exactly who I want. 
It's like they're seeing you. If there if there's someone that's already been in your life, it's like they're seeing you for the first time, right? Um, old classmate, old you know what I mean, old coworker, something like that. Um, or like I said, it could be a new energy coming in that has seen you, and they're just like, who's that over there in the damn chicken section at the grocery store? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then for some of you, this is saying you need to go inward. You have so much healing to do with your heart. It's great that you're confident, but the fact that it's blinding you from things that you still need to work on, that's wild. Because some of y'all have been hurt so badly by people and you're healing, you focused on just healing your ego, healing your, your, your mind, healing your confidence. And you forgot to heal your heart, your approach, your humbleness the way you decide to accept people from here on out, how will that go about? Or are you not going to accept people? Come on now. You can't. What? I mean, it's just contradicting. It's just contradicting what I'm seeing here. The possibility of some of you being very contradicting for sure. For those of you who had, who have healed, this is going to come easy peasy lemon squeezy. You're going to hear this message. You're going to be like, heard. I know what you're talking about. That's an old toxic trait of mine that I'm working out of. I'm hearing it loud and clear. Some of you already got defensive and you're going to learn your karma. Some of you are listening to this and you're wondering, is this about me? Then it probably is. Evaluate, assess, go inward instead of trying to find someone else. With your codependent ass. Ew, I don't like codependency. That's not good. It's not it's not healthy. It's not holy. It's not sacred. It's not divine. It's toxic. Codependency is toxic. Y'all, and some of y'all are really on that tip. And but yet it's I'm seeing someone honest, and I'm just gonna say it. Someone there's is someone specifically that needs to hear this that lives a hypocritical life. You make it seem like you're all good. You got it all together. I don't need nobody. But then you're putting yourself, oh, but I do want someone. And then you put all these people through the ringer. All these dates are like interviews. All of these conversations are like interviews. If that person doesn't jump or react to something the way you want them to, you're done. You're not ready for someone then. You're not ready to work with someone. You're not ready to receive a new person with their own life, their own goals into your life. You're not ready to blend and mess shit. Get the fuck out of here. It'll align yourself with what you want. But let's not be hypocritical. And be, Which one are you? Okay? You don't need nobody or you want somebody. You cannot be both. So some of y'all need to figure that shit out. All right? Because you've hardened your hearts and you need to soften your heart. You have allowed, oh, I healed. If you healed so much, why did you turn into your ex? All right, y'all. With that, bye.